Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a huge collective haul of beauty and fashion. So it's, I mean, it's gonna be a long one. So let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this little off the shoulder top. It's just a plain black um, top. Yeah, um, it's a ribbed material. So it's, you know, not so plain. It's a not so basic basic, but uh, it's super cute and I've already worn it and it was only like seven dollars Score! I also picked up these I guess you could say They're not necessarily joggers and they're not really leggings They're kind of a combination of the two and they have like a little drawstring and They're tight on the legs, but what's really awesome is that it has like slits in the knees which I can try to show you so super awesome because they're super comfortable, but they're also not so casual at the same time so you can kind of dress them up or down love that about them they were only like 10 bucks i also picked up this bomber jacket super cute because it has this like rose embroidery on the breast on like both sides and then has like gold hardware and it's just i mean your basic bomber i don't i only have like one other bomber and it's like a bright blue so had to get me a black one. I also picked up this pink jacket, if I can show you. It's like a see-through, it's like translucent pink, but I thought it was just so interesting. I've never seen anything like this. So it's like this and it has like a drawstring um, on the waist and it has pockets, but it's just super cool. It looks like a little rain jacket, but it's totally not. And it was only like 11 bucks, so thought that'd be super cute to kind of spice up an outfit. I also picked up this super cute bralette, and this looks like a lot of the ones that you see on like Urban Outfitters and like websites like that. Um, it has just, you know, those floral embroidery on the boobs, and it's got a bunch of like crisscrossing in the back. Impossible to show on camera, but it's so cute. It was only $8 as well, so I mean, that's a steal. I also got a couple plain bodysuits because I actually, you know, don't really have bodysuits. And the reason being, I love them, but it's so hard to find bodysuits that come in like a thong, just so that way it doesn't show underwear lines through your clothes. But these are thongs, and it's just plain t-shirt bodysuit. So I got a white one, and got a black one so these will be nice staples they were only five dollars a piece so had to pick them up I also got some plain t-shirts I got this white one it's kind of like you're not so basic basic again that's kind of my style I like wearing basic clothing but spicing it up a little bit and it's just this white shirt it has like a nice um, high low kind of feel to it it's like rounded in the front squared off in the back and it's ribbed and it's got cute little cuffed sleeves so again it's your not so basic white t-shirt it was also only six dollars so super super affordable oh and the shirt that i'm wearing is from there too it's just a basic little tee but it's got a lace up with like the little grommets going up to the collar but this was also only six dollars so i also got this little off the shoulder tee and well not tee but like this little shirt it's got little ties on the sleeves and it kind of cinches at the bottom but it looks really cute with a pair of high-waisted pants um but it, i love this i have the hardest time picking out like off the shoulder tops these are actually the first ones that i've ever owned simply because i don't necessarily like the way they look on my shoulders but these are really cute so i'm excited to wear them in the springtime and that was only eleven dollars I also picked up another bodysuit. It's this black one, but I'm really hoping you can see the detail in this because the, it's completely mesh with this floral, like patches and embroidery all over it. And it has the patching in the proper placement so that way you don't show your boobs. Um, but it, it doesn't go all over the back. It goes back on like the shoulder blades. But again, it's a thong, so no panty lines. This was also only $10, so. You know I had to get it. 
again going along with this whole like rose embroidery thing I got this bodycon dress which I don't ever wear anything bodycon so it's saying something um I love this dress it's so flattering on but like I said I mean it just has this rose embroidery where it covers the boobs and then so like the top is mesh and then the bottom is obviously not um, but it is long sleeve and the sleeves are mesh as well but for only $20 I couldn't pass it up because I have no idea where I'm gonna wear it to or when I'm gonna wear it but it was too pretty not to get lastly from the store I got these like high-waisted pants they are like they're like a jegging because they have pockets on the front and back um, and the pockets in the front are actually usable um, but they're just plain black and stretchy so they're really awesome just to have a plain black pair of jeggings then from rue 21 which i haven't been here since like sixth grade but curiosity you know stole my money so i picked up this dress i thought it'd be so cute has bell sleeves which i have been loving that trend lately um and really flowy it's just a navy and maroon and cream very beautiful color combo can't wait to wear that dress I also, they had a like two for 16 or something like that on the men's tees or something like that. And I got this Rugrats tee because it reminds me of childhood. And I guess it's a huge thing lately, like wearing tees that represent like old kids TV shows from like the 90s. But I thought it was super cute, super easy to just like lounge around in. So that was the first one. And then the second one was a Space Jam tea because this was my jam growing up <laughs> get it I can't tell you how many times I've seen that movie countless times and then I went to Windsor where I just picked up these high-waisted jeggings and they have this like lace-up front and like gold grommets and they're just plain black jeggings they're super high-waisted though so they're super cute and then lastly from Windsor I picked up this little crop top and it's completely mesh see-through um, I did wear this to um, the last concert that I went to but it's also like a little mock neck so it's very modest in the sense of like it has sleeves it has like a neck um, but it's mesh so I wore like a black bralette underneath it and it was very scandalous but very pretty but I love this whole rose embroidery trend and I love that this one was like cool toned <sighs> dying now to kind of like break up the fashion items I'm gonna show you some beauty items so I picked up of course the Jeffree Star androgyny palette just because of literally like the shade the military shade poison and swallow great names um, but yeah I couldn't pass it up for those shades alone I was so excited when I saw pictures of this it's not necessarily that I like love Jeffrey or anything but the quality of his eyeshadows are to die for so I had to pick this up I went to Sephora just to grab like a couple things I got like an empty palette to put some like loose shadows that I have in and I also picked up the Sephora bright future concealer because this shit is so good um, I forgot how good it was I did my mom's makeup the other day and she has this because I recommended it to her and she's been in love with it and so like when I was doing her makeup I used hers on her and I fell in love with it all over again so I had to pick it up in my shade now back to some clothes I went to I went to just like a local department store and oh, guys I picked up this like two-piece set and it is these pants they are black with roses all over them and they are giant wide leg pants they're so pretty and they're super high-waisted they were a little pricey but like your girl splurged and it comes with a matching top and it's just like this like crop top it's like a wrap top so I hope you can see that and the back is just a button-up and then it has a tie in the back as well so as a two-piece set that is so cute and I cannot wait to wear it I also got this dress 
and it was on sale for like what it was on sale for 18 bucks and so it's got this awesome like crisscross on the chest it's got nice um, ruffly sleeves and it has like a ruffle bottom you may not be able to see it but we'll try it has a nice like ruffle bottom so it was a super dainty pretty dress and since it's all black I can wear it for work and I feel like my buns keep hitting things ah! I also picked up this sweater which was on sale for only like $19 and it is this super awesome like what is this like a camel color and it's like a mock neck and it's super big and baggy and it has this like white stripe along the bottom it's also a high low but it also has like three quarter sleeves so I thought it'd be a super nice springtime sweater because it's also super lightweight I went to forever 21 when do I not go to forever 21 first thing that I got were these booties so yes I'm obsessed with shoes they are so freaking cute they're like this like awesome peach color but I've already worn them once and I me being the clumsy person that I am I tripped down my stairs and I broke the freaking heel but I still wear them you know no biggie but they're super cute they're not like I mean obviously they're not the most like comfortable shoe in the world but like beauty is pain they're so cute so freaking cute I love them they have different colors of these too they had a gray pair and I almost like want them but like I'm I'm restraining myself so I I don't ever wear sunglasses like ever but like come on I got these I just felt so cool when I tried them on so I bought them I think they're only like six dollars so if I don't ever wear them it's not like I'm out too much okay so I picked up a pair of shorts because like every summer I feel like I have to repurchase every pair of shorts that I need because apparently the ones from last year just never fit so I got these super cute ones they have like embroidery on them as you can see I'm super into like floral embroidery apparently so they've got like they're super light wash but they have like that harsh like black lining around the flowers which I love I love the contrast but they're high rise and they're just like a blunt cut um, and they're super cute so I got them I also picked up this like peach and blue tie-dye dress it's just a nice little short springtime dress and it's so soft I've already actually worn it and I wore it with these boots it was an outfit so cute then I got this white cropped it's like a sweatshirt but like it's so much thinner than that but it's just this lightweight cropped long sleeve it like I said it's kind of like a sweatshirt material it's so soft but I thought it'd be nice for those cooler spring days I also picked up this cropped super boxy like mint green corduroy button-up and it has super cute sleeves they're just like kind of like three-quarter nice and rolled or like they have a nice cuff and I thought it was just so cute and I couldn't pass it up it's too cute and last but not least I picked up this bodysuit which is not a thong but it's pretty close so it's not it doesn't it's like super thin so it won't leave harsh lines but it's almost like sport jersey looking so it's just plain black with white trim and I thought that this would be really cute with those shorts and it is because I tried them on together but this is so soft so all about comfort and I lied about that being the last store I did go to Target first of all I picked up this super cute bralette um, I really liked this because I can wear it under like scoop neck or really low cut shirts and it is like a cami because again like I said with that nude bralette at the beginning of this haul I, I hate camis so I like wearing bralettes that kind of act as a cami so I thought that this would do the job for me it's just nice and lacy 
super cute. Now, I don't think I bought any of these lashes at Target, but they're in this bag. So some of my favorite, favorite lashes at the moment are the Kiss Lash Couture Foaming Collection. I love the um, Gala ones, or Gala, however you want to say it. These ones are my favorite from the collection because they're just so big and dramatic. Then I'm also in love right now with the Eyelor Nicole Guerrero 143s. My first pair is still going strong after like four wears, but I just had to pick up a backup because I don't know how long they're going to be in store. And then lastly, I got the Ardell Foam Inks because these are also some of my favorites right now. Lash, like drugstore lashes are killing the game right now. Okay, guys, we have made it through. That is the end of this. Yes, I have a shopping problem. I have a problem, I am like so aware of it, but like, I don't mean this in any way to like brag or anything. I really just genuinely like talking about things, like new things that I get. I just genuinely get super excited about them, so I have to talk about them in order to get out my energy. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.